in the report. Uh, additional competitive grant to support new and young faculty. This is an initiative which we started this year. And recently we have awarded five uh, different faculty members, five grants uh, amounting to 40 lakhs to do extra research, new research projects. Uh, Institute also is building up a lot on its collaboration with the industry around us as well as universities abroad, labs abroad. Notable uh, collaborations we have is with you know, Maryland, USA, Uniformed Services, uh, University Health Sciences. Uh, we have collaboration with uh, Indian Naval Academy. We have got collaboration with Goa Pollution Control Board, Hitachi India, uh, Aga Research Laboratory, Innovation Center Thermax, uh, Kurade Agro Goa, Bharat Petroleum. Recently, a memorandum of understanding was signed with Winsim uh, Norway uh, to exchange knowledge and experience within the area of wind energy technology. We also signed an M MOU with the National Institute of Wind Energy uh, uh, in February 2015. A uh, couple of weeks ago, we had a MOU with NIO Goa to have augmented capabilities collaborative research. Since 2011, our Goa campus faculty has been uh, authoring lots of publications in international journals and conferences. 400 plus Scopus published journals are authored by our faculty members in, during this period. There were 123 articles in international journals, 44 publications, conferences, and 15 book chapters. Last year, we applied for three patents, including one US patent. So far, 32 PhD students have graduated from Bitspilani KK Birla Goa campus within a short period of time. Currently, there are 177 PhD students registered ongoing uh, at various levels of their PhD program. Uh, many of our faculty members have brought glories uh, into our uh, um, campus by bringing in you know, collaborative research grants, awards. Uh, the details are again in, 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 in the booklet. A number of international dignitaries visited us. Notable among them are Nobel laureate Professor Jean Marie Lane of the Institute of Supramolecular Science, uh, uh, Ambassador of France, uh, Francois Richier, uh, Professor Paul Miller from the University of Leeds, uh, a university delegation from University of Tartu in Estonia, they visited us, uh, and they want to have active collaboration, student exchanges, uh, and uh, that is ongoing, and we have signed a more MOU with Tartu also. A number of workshops and conferences were held either jointly or by with KK Birla Goa campus alone. Uh, so some of them were like annual conference in I, IACLAS, uh, ACM India event, SCRC main school in theoretical high energy physics, decentralized biogas digesters uh, conference, international conference towards aquaculture ethics, international conference on changing uh, contours of Indo-US relationships, advances in robotics was conducted recently. Na uh, the Center for Innovation, Incubation, and Entrepreneurship uh, is a new uh, initiative. Uh, this has been uh, launched together with the Department of Information Technology in the Government of India. Uh, so we have started a technology incubator, uh, and there is a scheme called TIDE scheme, which is supporting us in this particular program. Already three startups are operating from our uh, technology incubation center. Our students have always been our pride. They have been participating in different competitions across Indian universities, uh, even in uh, Google Summer of Code, we have been you know, fairly successful over past many years. This has been continuing over the uh, last year as well. We conducted the three festivals. All of you enjoyed the waves and cork and spree and you know many more you know, festival uh, activities. Even yesterday night when I come, I can see all the students actively participating, you know, making whether it is like a, 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 an arrangement, decoration for the convocations. Uh, we are really proud of the all-round talents of all of you, and we really feel sad that uh, you are going to be leaving us. Uh, but anyway, uh, at this juncture, I also would like to thank, I joined the BITS KK Birla Goa campus only recently. Professor K.V. Uh, Raman was the previous director. I thank Professor Raman for all his uh, uh, support during uh, the period before and afterwards. Uh, right now, we are in a very important stage of our growth. And all faculty and staff at Goa campus are looking forward to meet the challenges for Vision 2020. Uh, we, 
with the growing profile of our faculty and uh, the students, uh, in, uh, very talented students, we are absolutely sure that we can meet all our goals what is set out in, the, uh, in our agenda. Uh, dear graduating students, whatever you do, I am confident you are going to do it very well. And I am sure you are going to be great achievers and you have got a role model sitting, going to talk to you today. Uh, so try to emulate him, try to become distinguished alumnus and then come back to us, come to this stage to get your you know, distinguished alumnus award at some point of time. And even if you are, whatever you do, you keep informed us about whatever you, know, you are doing, we'll be happy to hear that. Uh, once again, I wish you all the success. I, our uh, best wishes are with you to be great achievers. Thank you very much. I will introduce, uh, already you have been introduced, uh, uh, Naveen Tiwari. Naveen has been a disruptor at heart. So when he started his dream of entrepreneurship, his gang was called Boys with PowerPoint. Uh, he followed his dr uh, dream and broke norms of being an entrepreneur at many levels. For example, he entered into a very niche market of mobile advertising and against everyone's advice, he started it in India. He changed his company from base in Mumbai, which normally people, all entrepreneurs are happy to go there, but he wanted to go to Bangalore so that he will get the best technology talent. He expanded his young business to global markets when people laughed at his uh, choice. And he proved everyone wrong. Everyone who did not believe in his dream, wrong. Today, he's the founder and CEO of his dream company, a startup that is turning into a technology giant, locking horns with giants like Facebook and Google. Uh, he graduated from uh, IIT, Kanpur, had a master MBA from uh, Harvard. Actually, he was bestowed with the Dean's Award in Harvard in 2013. Uh, his alma mater in IIT also uh, honored him with the Distinguished Alumnus Award for his excellence in entrepreneurship. He and his company sprouted over 30 startups in India, and he's, he has personally invested and supported many startups like Nesteve, Sideroad, Metal, Money Sites, Bombay Candy, and Simmer, a patriot to the core, and a believer of startup. Will, and he believes that startups will be the pillars of growing India. He also co-founded iSpirit, which is a change agent with a brain of a think tank and aims to address government policy, create mar market catalysts, and grow the maturity of product entrepreneurs in order to transform India to a hub of new generation software products. Naveen is a board member of Paytm and also founded and chairs a US-based nonprofit called India School Fund, which funds set up schools in rural India, a cause he cares deeply for. Commemorated as Future Leaders Award by our Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji in 2015, He's identified as 100 most creative people and has been recognized by Fortune as 40 under 40 most powerful, influential, and important people in business in 2015. His, <laughs> his company, Inmobi, was identified as top 50 disruptive companies by MIT in 2013 and received Forbes India Leadership Award for Outstanding Startup in 2014. I am delighted to welcome the uh, glowing icon of Indian startups, Mr. Naveen Tiwari, to deliver his uh, convocation address. Professor Rao, uh, Professor Ponikat, uh, respected faculty members, friends, all the guests who are here, parents, and the graduating class of 2015, thank you for having me here today. <coughs> you know, truth be told, 
you know, I'm dreading this moment, by the way. You know, I'm just, <clears throat> you know, when Professor Jan, you know, who was your uh, vice chancellor till very recently, you know, when he called me up to say, look, can you come for, uh, you know, can, can you come for this speech? You know, I took two days to respond to him. You know, not because I was busy. You know, but because I felt that, you know, I'm somewhat like you guys. Yeah, I hate these speeches, by the way. <laughs> well, I am one of those who loves to sleep through these speeches and somehow figure out how, the, how will it come to an end. But you know what happened today? The tables have turned. <laughs> so my dear friends, very, very dear friends now, I have a request. Support me for the next 20 minutes. <laughs> and I will ensure that this remains short. And I will try to make sure I pull out everything on, on, on my big sleeves, by the way, to make sure that you have things which you can take away which are useful for you. You know, standing here today has taken me back, you know, 10 years when I graduated, when I attended my last uh, convocation. It's a day of great pride. No questions about that. It is an important day for you. You should be very proud of the fact that you are graduating from one of the most prestigious universities on the planet. You know, it's not, you, you need to know how, how lucky you are. You could have been, the probability was that you could have been unlucky. The probability of you being unlucky was much, much higher than you being lucky. So you have to be really proud of what you're going to do today, which is graduating from Bits Pilani Goa campus. So congratulations on being the class of 2015 graduating class. Thank you so much. <clears throat> to be fair, by the way, this day is more important to you know, somebody else than you far more important to somebody else than you guys. There is, it is more important to your parents. You should know, I'm pretty sure each one of you know this, I knew this. They went through more hardship, more pain, more sacrifices to see you here today. They have gone through pain that many of you may not even know about. So I'm going to request something from you guys. I'm going to request all of the people, all of the graduating class of 2015 to stand up. Please stand up. And let us give our parents who have done everything for us a massive round of applause for what they have done to us. They need to hear it if they're they not here. It's not loud enough. This is for all of you parents out here. This is what they mean when they really want to thank you. And I know for a fact that you have your held high, held, head held up high today because you, have, you are parents of a proud Bitsian. And that's, not a, that's, that's a very, very rare thing. You know, you are also you know, graduating from a very amazing university. I have no idea how you guys even study here. You know, I came here yesterday for the first time. I've come to Goa many times. There is a reason you come to Goa. <laughs> and, least of which was what I found here yesterday. So I have no idea how you guys study here. You know, I entered the campus. It felt like, you know, you're entering Tuscany in Italy or Switzerland or south of France. 
you know, that's not, a, that's not a campus that, you know, most of the people go to. So be very, very proud of that kind of, a, that kind of a phenomenal campus that you're going through. And, you know, all of the faculty members and people who have made this happen, it's an amazing campus you have here. It's also pretty interesting to see that you're minutes away, minutes away from places where great minds meet. Think about the future of the world. You know, I, 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 what I heard, you know, you are you know, a few minutes away from the Bagmelo Beach. <laughs> I am pretty sure you go there every day for coming together. <laughs> or spend that few moments at, what's that place, John Samuels? Or John Samuels? <laughs> I really wanted to go there last night for dinner. But the problem was, you know, I, you know, I wasn't sure which camp I belonged to, so I went to Leela. Tonight I will be there at John Samuels. If you are there, we'll chat, meet, meet up there. We shall really talk something better. You know, one of the things I didn't realize before coming in here was the strength of the alumni of, you know, Bits Pilani. Day before, you know, I was in my office you know, just going from one meeting to the next one, just, you know, walking around. And I suddenly entered a slightly common area, and I saw a bunch of people there, like some 30, 40 people. I said, what happened? And they were all, like, taking photographs, and they were all coming together. I said, what happened? And they said, well, it's a bit Bitsian day, and we are actually coming together to essentially celebrate that day because we are really, really proud of our alma mater. That's strong, guys. That is strong. I had no idea that in Moby, we have almost 37 Bitsians working for us, and some of them really, really high up there who are disrupting what we are trying to do at the company. So I'm really proud of you guys. I had no idea that you had, that you had produced some amazing alumni that work and take us to the next level. So congratulations on that. You're part of a very special group going forward. You know, one other thing that I learned yesterday, it's not even been 24 hours that I've been here. You have an amazing faculty here. Do you know why? Bits, Pilani, Goa. And I don't know about other campuses yet. And maybe after this speech, I will never be called to any of those campuses. So <laughs> this is the only thing I will know. But Bits Pilani Goa campus, I found the faculty members to be treating this place like a startup. They had passion in their eyes to make this successful. I, I met faculty members that talked about how they put things brick by brick together, how they are trying to compete with the giants out there. There are giants out there who have existed for you know, 50, 60, 100 years. God, for God's sake, I went to a university that existed for 400 years. You're, you're a little company, you're a little education institution, but you have made massive strides in the last, what, 11 years? That's massive. That's what this faculty member, members are all about. They're treating this place like a startup. They are innovating. They, are, they, try to, they need to make changes. It's a private institution that does not get funds from the government. That makes them sharper. They have innovative methods with which they're doing ed giving you education that I've not seen before. I think you need to give them a massive round of applause for what they have done for you guys. <laughs> and therefore, I mention, you're graduating from one of the most amazing universities on the planet. But mind you, don't take your graduation as a mark of success. This is just the beginning. You have just reached step one. So make sure as you leave these doors today, as you get out of these places, you stay connected to this place. You stay connected to the faculty. You stay connected to your alumni. But more importantly, and most importantly, stay humble and stay grounded because you have a long distance to go. You know, today, you're transitioning from one stage of life to another. Outside this door, 
life's tough. It's not Tuscany anymore. It's not south of France anymore. It's a tough life out there. You know, you're going to live for roughly about 60 more years, give and take. Now, don't be sad. That's pretty much what it is. It's the truth. It's a long time, right? Seriously? I think it's, you know, roughly it's about 20,000 days left. You have 20,000 days left. Of which the next 10,000 are the productive ones. You have 10,000 days, guys. 10,000 days of what you're going to do. You roughly spent eight to 10,000 already. It's critical that you realize that the decisions that you're going to make going forward, the choices you're going to make going forward, especially in the next thousand days, define how you're going to spend the remaining 20,000 days of your life. It's absolutely critical to make choices and choices are important you know my own graduation by the way you know was obviously very special to me you know i remember it pretty strongly i came back home uh, you know after finishing my last exam only to find out and enter the home which was a little morose at that moment and i thought look we had just come back you know from my last exam i've graduated parents should be happy but they were not only to find out that my father was detected with cancer and he has only a few more days left in his life. He was only 45. I was broken, absolutely broken. I was 21. But that day, he sat me down and said three things to me. And I want to share, those three things have become fundamental to what I am today. And I thought those were the most three most important things that were ever told to me. It was like, you know,